mother and father, first of all, were, were school teachers. My dad uh, was a football coach and driver's ed teacher. And my mother was a special education teacher for a long time. And just, uh, you know, I, all those years of uh, going to school and, and visiting with, with her, uh, her students, um, you know, it just, I guess, had I not played pro football, I would have been a coach and a teacher. And I felt like um, my calling, if, if you want to call it that, would have been more suited to be um, in special education. My dad coached American Legion baseball for 30 years um, in the summer. And the bat boy, anyone who uh, knows anything about baseball in the Mississippi Gulf Coast knew Ronnie Abear, who uh, would ride his bike from one end of the coast to the, to the next, but was our bat boy for, for as long as my dad coached. And I, of course, would room with Ronnie when we went to the state tournament. Um, and, you know, he was a special needs guy. Um, so not only was my mother's students, um, not only was I close to them, but um, it seemed like everywhere I went, I ended up forging a relationship with, with people like Ronnie. They're unaffected by, I mean, they're happy to be there, which is what, there's a lesson in that, I think, for all of us, that you know they're not they're not worried about how much money they can make and what they're driving and how many interviews they can they can do this passion for playing and competing and winning that is um, unaffected by the, the other things that professional athletes I think have to deal with they want they want to win whatever it is that they're playing they want to win they love doing what they do I've been extremely fortunate um, to um, to have played pro football and enjoyed the luxuries of that, um, and I'm, I'm extremely thankful for that. But I'd like to think that um, as much as that's affected me in, in a lot of ways, it hasn't affected me in others, and being humble and modest uh, are important qualities for all of us to have. Being around uh, Special Olympics, being around uh, special needs uh, people for really all my life, there's a humbling effect that, that goes along with that. And, um, and I like that. I like that. I mean, not that, but I think we all need to be grounded at some point and kind of brought back to reality. And, and for me, that is one of the best ways to, to get back to, to reality.